Hey guys, it's the beginning of a new month, and that means it's time to pick a new Patreon game. Let's see what the results were this month. Wow, okay. Crash Bandicoot, Super Meat Boy, Far Cry 4, Undertale, Antichamber, Factorio, and now FTL. If there's any sort of consistent theme here, it's that I have no idea what you guys are going to pick each month. <laughs> so, this is FTL. By all rights, as far as I understand, it's a very good game. I played it very briefly in college during a lunch break where I did one run where I got obliterated by a very harsh lesson, lesson with how, uh, Solar flares work, and then a second run where I made it to the capital ship, and that's my total experience so far with FTL, so, uh, may the power of backseat gaming be with you. <laughs> For those that don't know, this is a randomly generated space game with the perma permanent death where you kind of operate an entire ship the same way you kind of, kind of would imagine that you, someone might operate, like the Enterprise, with a whole bunch of different crew members you order around, taking part of different departments and everything, and if your ship dies, you die. Period, and then you start the entire campaign over. But that's kind of the point. In fact, dying seems to be a pretty regular part of the game for most people. Let's see here. I'm going to start on easy. We'll see how that goes for our first run. Yeah, we're going to start things out on easy just to get into the rhythm of things this time, because we're going to be playing a lot of, of uh, sessions of this. Went ahead and named the three crew members we start with after three people who voted for this game. And, you know fitting name for our ship. I'm starting with the default ship, just to go stick with the desired initial experience. Let's see, so these compartments here, we have shields over here. We have the engine room in the back. Oxygen right next to that. Weapon control, we have a lot of power starting off in that spot. Med bay for when we need to heal people. Piloting, which I believe affects your dodge. Yeah. That affects uh, your chance of ev evading attacks in general, and of course, moving the ship. Sensors are important because that's how you see enemy ships. But I think the basic interior is required. The basic, uh, the basic power to this uh, facility is required to even see inside your own ship. I think. So I think if you lose sensors completely, you can only see the rooms your party, your crew members are currently in. And then the, this uh, p this pause button looking icon is actually what affects uh, your control of all the doors in the entire ship. Alright, so we're going to take this series of rooms and try to fly it through space without having it dying horribly. We're starting off with Artemis missiles. Can I customize these at all? Nope. You have a standard missile launcher. Requires one power. Shoots every 11 seconds. Damage 2. Shield piercing 5. And uh, burst laser mark 2. Slightly improved version of the burst laser that fires more shots per charge. Required power is two, shots per charge is three. This will be interesting, a lot of things to keep track of here. We'll see how, and I'll have a lot of fun trying to talk at the same time. It, be prepared for a lot of half successful sentences. <laughs> the data you carry is vital to the rem remaining Federation fleet. You'll need su uh, supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, ion weapons. Uh, ion weapons depower and lock a system for a time. If they hit the enemy shields, they deal their stun damage directly to the shield system. Alright, so here we are. So space pauses and resumes time, weirdly making the background glow and stop glowing and everything. So we're supposed to teleport around to move. There's a distress beacon and a store. A store kind of seems like a low priority for our first stop, because I feel like we wouldn't have our resources for that. Someone says they need help. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is on board. Hail them? As you hail the refugee ship, a pirate ship jumps into the system. It was using, it was using the refugee ship as bait. Well, crap. So this is our first chance to try to fight. But we're very much going to want to... Alright, so... I can activate auto-fire if I want to, or I can... I probably want to do manual firing. But as of right now, we don't... So once this FTL drive uh, is charged, we can actually try to leave. As of right now, let's see, we have one, we have one person in 
Weapons, one in engine, one in piloting. Okay. Right, as of right now, we have no power in weapons, which stops us from being able to do that. Oh, wow. We don't actually have much power in general, actually. So we're gonna want, I believe, to get some uh, We'll take... Can I take the power out of med bay? Wait, no, we have three right here, so I can just apply those directly to weapons. We have three in our bank right here. So now our weapons are gonna charge, which will allow us to actually fire on our opponent. We're about to take hits. Bad start. Engines are critical. I'm just going... I'm definitely gonna be making some mistakes here, because I've got a lot of things to figure out. So we have somebody in the engine bay, so at least they can repair it. Our weapons are ready. Alright, so I think we're gonna want to target their late their uh, shield department if we can. See how that goes. We're taking hits, but they're taking more. That's a good start. Oh wow, we actually our uh our <laughs> our bridge is on fire. That's definitely not what's supposed to happen to a bridge, as it turns out. Oh cool, our oxygen's under attack. Excellent start. Oh, right. We need to select them, the two of them independently or it won't work that way. Oh, we, we destroyed the enemy ship. There we go. The pirate ship breaks apart and you salvage what you can. So you got, is that two missiles? Uh, one sensor, 23 parts. Let's see, I can look up here to see what that is. Uh, not right now though. To contact the refugee ship. The refugee ship thanks you for your assistance. As a gesture of goodwill, and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, you off they offer up what supplies they can spare. So 12 more gears or whatever, one, I don't know, science? <laughs> Two missiles? Let's see. So the number of missiles we have is limited, so I can't just fire Artemis missiles at all the time if I, w if I w want to worry about running out ever. We have a spreading fire to worry about. Let's see. So, so can... Mad cat- wait, don't, no, uh... Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to tell people where to go. There we go. So I believe there's a trick I can do here, where if I open the doors to space, we can extinguish the fire that they were having trouble with. Which of course means no oxygen in those chambers, but... It'll at least drown out the fire that's currently damaging those systems. Oh, it's spreading to another chamber. That's bad. Come on. No more fire, please. We good? There we go. Our oxygen's gonna have to work overtime a bit for that to work. Oh crap, now what do I do? My oxygen's actually down, and now, because the oxygen's down, we're running out of oxygen on the ship. I guess the question now is whether or not somebody can get in there to try to repair oxygen before they just straight up die. So let's have Mad Cat try to repair oxygen and I guess keep an eye on their health bar. Although soon it won't matter. In fact, maybe maybe they both just need to run in there and just try to fix that place up because otherwise we're just gonna run out of oxygen no matter what. Okay, there we go. Oh, we're off to a bad start here. Can I get you guys both out of that chamber before you fully die? Maybe. Maybe. Is that any better? They're not- they don't seem to be dying right now. Let's send everybody off to medical bay. People have been having a tough day. But hey! Oxygen's working now, so our oxygen rating's going up over time. Now we just desperately need to heal everybody. Cool, so I uh... I almost completely lost the ship in the first fight. That's a good start. There's a few systems to manage here. Alright, everyone's healed up. At least there's that much, right? Here we go. So we have somebody in oxygen, we have some- oh, we have somebody on engines, we have somebody in weapons. Our, we're healed up and our oxygen's restoring. That's good. Alright, so this is our amount of fuel, is these- is these, uh... Little icons here. I called it science earlier. So every consume, every jump will consume one. So we have to be we have to be careful not to use do sixteen jumps unless we get more fuel. Drone parts used to cons uh, using a drone consumes one drone part. But first we need drones for that to matter. Here are these subsystems for piloting. 
So someone has to be in the front of the ship to give us an evasion bonus at all, and for us to jump from system to system. Sensors are how we see the insides, of course, and then doors. Let's make that uh, close old doors on the ship, open old doors on the ship. What does that do? Okay, just making sure that it specifically does mean old doors on the inside of the ship and not the exterior doors. That would be funny, though. Alright. We should be good to go, then. That's our, our attempt at restoring over time. Um... Yeah, let's maybe go... Let's zigzag a little bit, I think. Let's not go too fast at leaving the system. We may have chances to actually accumulate resources. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on the board. So we can scrap some of the debris or look for survivors. But And naturally, I think every decision in this game offers some level of risk. So we could try boarding to look for survivors, but for all I know we could lose a crew member, which would be bad, but let's try it. Human corpses are scattered around the station. You find the source of the signal, a lone survival, survivor that locked themselves in a storage chest closet. Uh, you quickly retreat with them in tow to the ship and hope they can recover enough to be of some use. Cool, we actually have a new crew member. Alright, now we have Graffin added to the crew. Where is, where is Graffin right now? There, he's up front here. Let's see, where would I want to add you to? Probably shield to keep it repaired, right? That seems like a reasonable place to stick them for now. Yeah, that should help. Alright. Oh, so here comes the in the incoming enemy forces. We have to stay ahead of that line or we're in trouble, basically. Scans show a remote, uh, remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on, so they're attacking somebody. We can try to fight them, or we can just get out of here. Um, don't have a lot of context for how tough it might be. I could just move on, honestly. We don't actually have to fight it. We could just ignore them. It's just not possible to save every civilian affected by this war. You prepare to jump. Yay, we're monsters. It's probably a bad idea to ignore any encounter, though. I kind of just wanted to test to make sure it works. But ignoring encounters is probably a waste of time, because you're kind of trying to power up your ship over time. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it's a rebel automated scout. Oh. We're instantly fighting. Enemy combat drone repeatedly attacks your ship, can be shut down by damaging the enemy sh uh, ship's uh, drone system. Okay. So we can go after the drones or their shields. Can I, can I auto-fire their ship's... Can I auto-fire both of their weapons at shields? Yeah, auto-fire one, two, cool. That means I don't have to constantly make, sh make sure that the, uh, that I'm aware when the meters fill or not. That drone just took out our shield. That will be an actual problem if we get hit, yep, if we get hit right between the two shots. Well, now their shields don't exist. So now it'll be fun if we were to attack their drone control system to take care of that problem. I don't really want to get hit by that anymore. Thankfully, we have a crew member for sh the shield section, at least, but... Yep, looks like the missiles are pretty good at hitting us in between those spots. That's gonna be a problem. It's a lot of fire. Do I send somebody else in to help with the fire? Come on. Okay, now he's standing directly in the fire. That's not really... Not necessarily what I would have recommended, but they're helping, I guess. Is their drone system dead yet? It's not, is it? Oh, wait, yeah? I think red does mean it's down. I think the whole ship's about to go down, honestly. Yep, we're good then. Just give them their chance to repair. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Alright, one jump, two missiles, 17 scrap. We have 95 scrap total now. We're gonna want to heal these guys up. Let's give them their chance to do that. So do these characters have specific stats? They do. Okay. So Mad Cat Alpha is good at missiles and repairs. I think a, a decent number of them have experience with repair. Oh, specifically uh, Potato Lion Mad Cat. Probably because there are those are the two uh, departments that keep getting attacked. Because this is Potato, right? Yep. 
All right, so this should be all fixed up soon. Little meters filling up right there, and they're all healed up. I actually don't know if, if uh, waiting in a system like this costs you anything, or if I can just wait around for meters to fill up and it's fine. Let's see, the drunken mistake. We can spend more bars to increase the reactor. Or various different systems around here. Let's see. So spending uh, scrap on these individual departments will increase the effectiveness of each one. So faster healing, faster refill on your uh, oxygen, more system power that just makes the meter longer basically on the weapon bar as you invest. Uh, more into shields will give you... Let's see... Yeah, increased dodge. That's the evasion. Uh, different number numbers of shield barriers as we add more. But it looks like you need to unlock those slots in the first place. So I think that's how this works. Let's try increasing shields. What if I click on this? Okay, so the yellow is permanent. Is that how this works? It's like that's like having a bunch of shield barriers just built in now. Working on things a little bit. Let's let's get some more uh, reactor bars to power things up. There we go. Yeah. So shield has these two slots up here. So I just bought two more. Okay. Yeah. There's a, there's a few little things I'll figure out over time. Let's go ahead and jump. So there's our exit. So we're only a couple jumps away from getting there now. Let's go ahead and just hop around and see who else needs to get shot out of space. Hey, look! You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. You get you can get Gracie, which looks like some kind of alien, for the cost of 34 scrap, which we don't have. Cool. Or we could attack the slaver scum. Yay! Though he could be dangerous. Eh, let's kill a slaver. Die, slaver scum. All right. Don't see any mention of drones. So it seems reasonable to go after their shields. We'll see how this starts. Power up those weapons. The initial power up's tough, huh? All right, there we go. Ooh, he might not be too bad. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as a tribute. If you destroy us, we'll die they'll die anyway. I'll totally accept their offer. That's why is it a different slave than they were selling earlier? Right, I'll, I'll take Maloney. Sweet. So we're done fighting. And I got a new crew member. Maloney. Maloney is going to operate, uh... Let's get him in the oxygen bay. I don't know if this is the alien I'm thinking of, but I think one of the aliens in this game doesn't require oxygen. It might not be that guy, though. But, uh, if someone needs to repair that place, he's pro it's probably good to have somebody in position when needed. Alright, we have a, an increasing crew. Can I attack him anyway? No? Because <laughs> I was going to. Alright. Let's move on to the next system. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Y you look like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and can try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. So he'll try to improve our reactor if we hit trade him two missiles and two drone parts. I don't currently have drones, and I'm honest, I might not even actually find those kinds of additions to the vehicle. Two missiles might not be too bad for extra reactor part. I'll try it out. Upgrade the reactor by one. You make the exchange and their team comes on board to try to improve your reactor. Alright. Other people will know better whether or not that was a good idea or not. Might as well pump that into engines. And... Off we go, right? Next sector, there we go. I forget how large this place is, so that we can go between Mantle, between Mantis and NG. The NG are the engineering race, I remember that, I remember that much at least. They're also a friendly, they're a friendly system to go through. 
You have arrived in NG Space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. So this is NG. So are you an NG? Maloney? Can I inspect you at all? I don't think I can. Oh, you can save your current crew positions. And then return crew to save... Oh, that's cool. So you can... You can have everyone walk into some dumb corner of the space for no good reason, and then you can be like, BAM! Everyone return to those specific spots. That, ac that actually comes in handy. That's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump. There's two stores to visit, but at the moment I don't have scrap to spend. Let's see if I can find scrap first, because I went and spent it all. You arrive in the sector and are greeted by a science vessel awaiting, awaiting by the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. So you can try to do three jumps for three drone parts. Why not? I mean, it's actually super dangerous because we could run out of jumps, but we'll see how that goes. I feel like one individual drone part is probably worth more than one individual jump, but it only really works out if I actually get, uh... It only, really, it only really works out if I actually get said drone. Oh, hey. You find an abandoned mining station on a nearby moon. A quick scan shows no life forms. However, you discover a usable drone schematic. So for 17 parts, I can make an anti-personnel drone. Okay. So I can make a drone that specifically kills uh, individual units. Oh, I got... Ooh. I thought I, I, thought I got... Uh... I thought that was the cost of the uh, drone, but it looks like I just got 17 scrap, actually. That's handy. So we have crew... Oh, here we go. It is an NG. Uh, repair speed is doubled. Combat damage is halved, so they're not good for fighting off opponents. And since they're machine race, I believe they are the ones that uh, are immune, to, that don't have to worry about oxygen, so he's a good person to be repairing the oxygen department. Anti-personnel cargo drone. Let's see. So I deploy that with one... Can I put it here? Is that how that works? No. I think, yeah, I need to have a drone system installed before that does anything. Though I have to figure out whether or not you can actually add that to the ship or not. We'll head in the vague direction of the store to see if, what kind of stuff you can buy. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short-range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore the, sh the field or, uh, just wait for the chart. No, let's explore. It's just dangerous, no big deal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> A pirate ship hiding behind one of the larger asteroids attacks you. Well, that's going to be their costly mistake, isn't it? I hope. The funny thing about being confident that you're going to win is that if, you're, if you ever actually are wrong, no one can hold it against you. Because you're dead. Oh, here it comes. Oh yeah, they didn't make it through our shields. That's a good start for us. I think we have strong enough shields to hold them off for a bit. I'm gonna run out of missiles at some point, though. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Oh, I don't want that, though. I want him to die. You're all going to die down here. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two jumps, two missiles, 29 scrap. There we go. I don't think we took any damage anywhere, actually. We are taking little impacts of, uh... We're taking little asteroid hits here and there. Let's see. So when the hole hits zero, we die. I don't actually know if you can restore the hole, or anywhere besides maybe a, a actual location that handles that kind of thing. Here's a little shields here. Yeah, having multiple layers of shields definitely helping us. Let's see if we can get to that store. See what we can do with all that money we suddenly have. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. So a drone control module is expensive. Unless I want to sell things. But that would not work out great for me. Nothing I have is worth that much, but also I don't want to lose my laser because... Without a laser, I'm limited to my five missiles, and then I'm being in real trouble. Cloaking is even more expensive. Cloaks the ship, adding 60 to your evasion and preventing the enemy ship from locking on to you, on with weapons. That's handy, but yeah, I cannot afford these systems. You can buy extra items such as fuel, 
only three scrap for FTL. So all of these are more are less expensive, but yeah, uh, FTL is definitely cheaper than the drone parts. It looks like you cannot sell. You cannot. I don't think you can sell your drone parts here. Let's see. We can repair. Uh, let's go ahead and repair all. And you can hire people, but they're expensive too. A Zoltan. Zoltans are allies of the NG. Their innate energy can power ship systems. Provides power to the occupied system. Health is down to 70 instead of 100. Minus 15 damage to enemy crew on death. Huh. Oh, n not not minus. That's a bullet point. So it's 15 damage to enemy crew. So he will just hurt enemies when they when they die. Probably because they have an energy explosion. But yeah, th those are things I can't afford. Let's buy a few jumps, just because I don't want to run low on those. And a few missiles. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Oh, there's a second page. Crap. Yeah, these are all drones, though, that are also outside of my pricing range, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. Alright, that was our first experience with the store. Now we have some idea of what to expect. Didn't see any special characteristics, so I just skipped into something. You can trade, uh... A pawnbroker has set up shop at his obscure beacon. He might be offering something worth looking at, so... Looks like if we if we give him three missiles, we'll get ten jumps. I think that's a profit. I think that is a profit uh, monetarily, but... I don't know how soon he'll fit a, visit a store again, and I could keep I could really use those rockets, so I'm gonna move on. Oh, there's another store. It's probably not worth visiting, because right now we don't really have anything to spend. Let's it's skirting the line a little bit, but I'm gonna go back here and hope they don't help the help the enemy line doesn't move too far forward. If they reach us, we're more likely to be attacked by dangerous ships. I know that much. Uh, this was the site of a recent battle. Either a show of Mantis Force or the NG here weren't disposed to go peacefully. Uh, you pick through the pieces. We have one jump, one missile, 16 scrap. That's handy. I'm gonna head towards the exit before we get in trouble here. Look, for, Maybe look for a store on the next system. The area looks clear and you prepare to jump off, but a Mantis Scout jumps in behind you. There's a su they're, they're as surprised as you are, but their weapons are already online. Aw, oh, we can't... We can't just laugh it off and go away? No? Fine. Let's see. Go ahead and target their shields. Their missile, missile ignoring shields is fantastic, by the way. Except you have to be careful about how much you have supplied, of course. Intruders detected. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Hey. Let's have you guys come in here. There we go. And now that they're all like that, everyone at once. Obliterate that dude. Die, mantis scum. Oh wait, nobody's currently on weapons. I'm probably in trouble now, huh? Uh, the NG can do weapons. Oxygen doesn't need to be covered that seriously, but I, I want the guy off my ship. There we go. Everyone back to normal positions. I just wanted to... Oop. I wanted to make sure I had attacked as a group, just to make sure that the individuals didn't take too much damage when they fought back. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. 31. Not bad. And, uh, and other stuff. Alright, supplies are building up. We should be good to go soon. Yeah, I, I made sure to send everyone I could into that into that attack, just to make sure that uh, any, any return fire would be negligible, hopefully, compared to what we were sending at them. Alright. Uh, visiting the store is tempting, because we have some money to spend, but I'm a little worried about how much... Oh, right, that's where it is now, and that's where it'll be next turn. So that, that's what the two parts of the wave mean. So for now, we'll be safe. All right, I'll, ch I'll check the store. Maybe we can afford something cool real quick. NG ship hails. Engine upgrade necessary to tra uh, for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. So that they're, they're trying to sell things so they can upgrade their engine to go home. Can't afford the drone control or the crew, ooh, crew teleporter. Send your crew members to board enemy vessels. That could be exciting, but sounds like the kind of thing that I don't want to mess with too much yet. Definitely repair our ship. They're selling drones, they're selling a human and a Zoltan. Equally, oh, what? So, they're equally tempting. But I may move, may move on without doing any of that. 
Let's just stock up a bit. I don't know if I need another crew member this fast when I'm already up to f this many. Hey, this guy, go ahead and, yeah. Go ahead and heal up real quick. Should be good to go now. And let's go to the next system. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. A nearby space station hails you. Greetings. Your, arri your arrival's most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps you can make a deal. So, trade three jumps for two drones. I'm gonna reject that, because I don't have any drone capabilities. So it seems increasingly dangerous to make that kind of thing. Ah! Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with the peaceful systems for this playthrough. I'm just trying to see how well I can keep my, my ship alive for now. The Zoltan uh, patrol, their borders, but let you pass when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. So we're hoping that these people will slow down the people chasing me. All the neighboring locations are unknown. Let's see. The nebula here will make fleet uh, pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. So if we want to go through this nebula, it'll mess with our combat when it happens, because we won't be able to see into enemy ships, I believe. But it will also slow down the enemy fleets, letting us explore more and more. You arrived at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Huh. I'm curious. Let's participate in the study. I'm just curious what'll happen. Oh, 17 scrap. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Small cakes made of stiff dough. Are we, did we get cookies? I want cookies. Scrap's good too, though. I'm curious about the store, of course, but don't ha uh, let's go adjacent to the store. Maybe we'll get a little more scrap, because right now we wouldn't be able to buy anything, if there is anything. The AI of a small rebel scout immediately identifies you as a threat and engages. Well, we're going to have to ruin them now. Oh, he doesn't even have shields. That's handy. Alright, let's go attack his weapon bay, then. You know what? He's small. I wonder if I should just not fire with my missiles and just fire with lasers? I wonder if it's necessary to fire at all with missiles when he's a, when he's a small, unshielded ship. Since missiles are a limited capacity thing. Rude. Oh, we're missing. How embarrassing. This, I'm trying to think about whether or not this is worth it or not. He does attack very slowly. Oh yeah, his weapons are down, so we're good. We can just, we can just wait this out at this point. Do they even, I wonder if they even repair their their individual parts when it's a drone. It won't have it won't have crew as far as I can tell. Oh, 39 scrap. Fantastic. That's pretty much exactly what I was hoping would happen. So let's go visit that store now. The Zoltan are fascinated by their species and have set up something of an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? So we can buy drone control. Ooh. Purchase comes with free system repair drone, which is also encouraging. And does- ooh, a slug. <laughs> These telepathic slugs were shunned in Galactic Federation for their constant thievery and attempts at manipulation. Okay. Telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. Interesting. Their awareness powers could be useful, but I'm really interested in the getting a drone control system. We also get, get more lasers if we want. No, that's for selling. Never mind. <laughs> that's the wrong screen to look at. Uh, let's repair ourselves and grab... Uh, yeah, cloaking's very expensive. Let's grab a drone control. There we go. I think incoming supplies we get should probably be spent on increasing the power of our reactor so we can actually power that thing without it being a problem. Because right now we don't have a ton going on. Let's see. Engine, oh yeah, engines do affect dodge, so it's not a terrible idea to keep power there. It'll require two at the very least, least to get our drones set up. 
I should be able to plop this other guy in here. Anti-personnel drone will attempt to destroy any intruders on board your ship. Interesting. And this will repair them out of uh, parts of my ship. So neither of them are offensive drones, but they're both... They both should be useful. But I need to have the power to actually use them the way I want to. Oh, that's a bummer. I can only go to two systems I've already been to, huh? Oh, well. That's what happens when I go backwards. Oh, I actually have to go into the nebula either way. The, uh, I thought there was a northern path, uh, uh, an upwards path to go around it, but that's actually not an option. Uh, you nervously glance out the windows, but the only thing to greet you is more clouds and silence. Rut row. Oh, wow. Yeah, on a nebula we can't even see inside of our own ship. That's worrying. There could be anything out there, and we would never know. Makes me jumpy. I suppose that's where the slug comes in handy. There are some mineral-rich asteroids here that the Zoltan have left idle, but... You've none of the necessary equipment to mine them. Cool, so this was a useless stop. Distress beacon. Someone needs our help and is definitely not a pirate luring us in. You arrived to find a lumbering Zoltan freighter with no one at the helm. It's a mystery what happened to the crew, but it'd be a shame to let the opportunity go to waste, so we get 26 scrap. And other stuff. That's not bad. And now, now we'll be more interested in, in getting our drone supplies so that we can actually launch the drones we have down here. You pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please! You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. We're under attack. They have a lot of parts. They have a teleporter. I don't like that they have a teleporter. They also have oxygen and other nonsense. Alright. But we're gonna have to get through their shields either way. Let's see. The missile... We'll target the shields with the missile, because that ignores, uh... No, we'll actually, we'll, we'll target their teleporter with the missile to try to take that out. The laser will work away at their shields. But yeah, the, the uh, missile, missile, since the missile goes past their shields, we can work on their teleporter and stop them from boarding my ship, hopefully. Because I don't, I don't want them to do that. Hey, buddy. You know what? I was hoping that you wouldn't do that. This is why. Here we go. It's our chance to fight back. Well, NG takes over on... Uh, missile on a uh, weapons control. Yeah, mantis don't seem super effective, but we do have issues with the. Uh, we took out our sensors, so we can't see inside of our own ship. Let's see, is our teleporter down or in use right now? What, is, what does flashing blue red mean? <laughs> Maybe that means it's being repaired. That would make sense, actually. All right, let's go ahead and disable our missiles. At this point, the lasers should finish the job. Hey. Don't, no, I don't want, don't, don't make my engines critical. I need those. Why don't you just shut up and die already? There we go. You know what you did wrong. 29 scrap, fantastic. Let's just get fixed up. Potato should visit the uh, med bay at this point. They took a hit. Otherwise people are mostly okay. I think everything's repaired now, including my people. All right, everyone back to the usual departments. All right, yeah, we should be all good. There's our exit, there's another, uh, we could visit the store. Actually, I don't need to visit the store necessarily, because I may want to spend it on more power. There we go. Now we can power up drones. We need two frantic personnel, one for repairs. Oh, I can't put another one in here, huh? Why? Not enough oh. So we have to put two specifically into system repairs. What if I remove my power and then put- Yeah, you can put it directly into anti-personnel. There we go. That's more what I was going for. Because then we have this nice little drone that'll take out any enemies that try to board my ship, so I don't have to manually go after them each time. Let's exit. Let's get out of here before things get worse. You've arrived at the long-range beacon. When FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. 
We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Three drone parts for eight, twelve of scrap. In the store, in the store I saw it previously, I think it cost. Uh, I think it previously cost eight scrap for a drone part. Yeah, it really comes down to whether or not you want to help these people. More so than if you want to make more so than if you want to make money, because I believe this is a not a profit. And in fact, I just set up my drone system, so I think I don't want to deal with that. Sorry, I'm gonna be a dick. Un unidentified civilian sector. Oh, this one, that was that was the wrong one. <laughs> I was jumping too far ahead. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Cool. I just feel called to distress beacons in general. Uh, you locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread virulently. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. So we can uh, help control the crowds, ignore the request, or ooh, calm them down with the NG. That'd be fantastic. That means that because they're they're machine race characters, so they don't have to be infected by the disease. With no fear of catching the disease, your NG crew member helps reassure and reorganize the infected humans. Calmed by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected submit to their quarantine in the hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. Hey! NG got us some new supplies just like that, and we didn't have to do anything tough about it. Our, this ship seems relatively equipped right now, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're off to a good start. I'm gonna want to buy weapon systems in particular, I think. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You received an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care. But this is the right place for some ship repair. So you can repair damage for various amounts of parts, but we don't have any damage to repair. So, goodbye. Good day, sir. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. So we can pay the toll, or we can murder them all in the face. Murder their dumb faces off. Yay, too bad, you regret this decision. I very well could. Anything in this game could be incredibly dangerous for all I know. But, let's see, they have no teleporter. Right, they have no teleporter. So... I'll be- I'll keep an eye on system repair. I may, may want to activate that at some point. For now, we'll focus on attacking. Lasers will attack shields. Yeah, we'll both attack the shields. There's nothing else to attack right now. Now- now happens with a slow charge up. I guess I don't need- I don't need to pause at the beginning of combat as much as I do because there's already a charge up time to everyone's weapons. That makes the the time the waiting a little pointless. Their shields are lower than mine are. Okay, maybe not. That's bad. Our shields are back up though. What happened to my secondary shield though? I thought I had more. Oh, they locked my shields. So and so they used they must have used an ion torpedo because it says it's locked by an ion effect. That's stopping me from getting full power on that on that weapon. I don't think I can do anything about that, so I'll just have to accept it for now. But I'm not happy about it. And now, I, now they shall die. Please? Yay! I've destroyed their shields. That'll be good for them. So right n we're keeping our ship in one piece so far. Ooh! Alright, you win. Here's some equipment from our stores, leave us alone. We'll get a whole smasher laser. I want that. I'll absolutely take a freaking new weapon. Uh, two shots per charge. Normal damage one. Type breach. It's a laser, which is nice. Click and drag to rearrange. Um, so it, it can it can breach. My understanding is that it means that it can actually uh, expose that part of the ship to space, which is kind of a problem. And it's effectively it's more effective on rooms that don't contain a system. Apparently, interesting. Don't have quite enough power. Oh, I need to actually upgrade that station if I want to power that and the other laser at the same time. Which I kind of do want to. Let's see. Normal damage is one. 
shots per charge two and three. I like the idea of having more lasers ready just because it, it means I don't have to constantly use my supply of missiles, which could supposedly run out at some point. I do have enough to upgrade it. There we go. So right now I can power the two lasers at once, but that means not powering my missile. No, actually, I can power my missile too. I have enough power to, to uh, power up the missile. I just don't have the capacity in that part of my ship to power that separately. Although I could power them independently up and down whenever I feel like it, basically. The next upgrade to would cost 50, so I probably won't. Uh, more drone... Oh yeah, upgrades to drone just means more power. Upgrades to engines means more dodge. I might go for that too. There we go. That'll make us a little harder to hit. Let's get out of here before he, they change their mind or something. Uh, they're pretty far behind us. Let's do the nearby jump to have more stops. You jump into an unremarkable system. No life signs detected within scanning range. Alright. Well, that was worth it. Maybe I shouldn't do so many jumps when I'm going to run out of jumps to use. Your scans reveal a mining base on a nearby planet long since abandoned, no life signs detected. And I guess we're leaving. Cool. Exciting. Uh, we'll keep pushing forward. I don't have enough jumps to actually uh, go to the store. I might actually be in trouble soon. Uh, you arrive at the next beacon only to be immediately hailed by a, sh a small shuttle. Help us. Ring attack by pirates. Let's aid, th aid the ship. Maybe we'll get some more jumps out of it. You power up your weapons and engage the enemy pirate ship. Which has a teleporter, by the way. That's a concern. Let's definitely make our way towards those when we get a chance. Yeah, attack two parts of the ship to spread the damage when given the opportunity. Um... Hi there, sir. Not a fan of what you're doing over there. Let's, uh, reduce power to engine a little bit. Let's see. Enable our anti-personnel robot. That'll help out. Now what are you gonna do? He's... Oh! We're being hit by lasers! No thank you. And Graffin had a hard time, so we'll have him get repaired. Talking about repairing a human. That's how it works, right? Alright, he's healing up. Let people go back to their normal ship positions. Their shields are not going down at all right now. Did they take out my laser? Oh, they damaged my they damaged my weapon uh, department altogether. Um, let's turn off the laser, turn on our Artemis. Have Artemis target their could go for shields, but I'm most tempted to go after their weapons department. Just to stop them from doing what they're doing. This is an equipped ship. This is something to worry about, I think. All right. No enemies in our ship right now, so I'm undoing the personnel laser. And we'll spread our damage. We killed one of their personnel already, and who knows, like, how many crew members could they have to attack me with at some point? Oh, we're missing with our missiles. Which is not why we call them that, but they're earning that name regardless. There we go. Some damage to weapons is a start. I could jump if I want to, but I kind of want to take these guys out. There we go. Missiles took out their weapons, so now we now let's focus on shields while while we're more safe. Putting a couple points... Yep, their shields are going down now. I put a couple points into engines. Just to keep our evasion up, because they're repairing their weapons now. There we go, now they don't have shields. Yep, they're screwed. Bye! You deserve it! <laughs> and we got no jumps. We only got missiles and drone parts, and a bunch of... A whole bunch of, uh... Scrap, though, so if we get to a town... Uh, a store, we're good. The pirate ship breaks apart, you hasten to contact the civilian ship. They respond, it's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright and I'd like to help you like you helped me. 
The captain offers us in, to install a piece of equipment on your ship. A heavy iron and 19 scrap. Heavy ion. Drains and lock systems. Shots per charge 1, normal damage 0. So it doesn't damage anything, but it really messes with individual parts of ships. Which is exactly what was happening to us earlier, so that'll be an interesting weapon to have access to. And now we have a full set for 1, 2, 3, 4 down there. Alright. Where do we want to go from here? Ah! Uh, we're running out of jumps, and that's the only store nearby, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. So at this point, we're gonna be in trouble if we keep ignoring it. Transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below, which offers supplies to travelers. You send down an, an away party to check it out. Uh, definitely grabbing some of those real quick before we get into some serious trouble. Let's see, we have more weapons. Fire beam. This terrifying beam does no physical damage, but ignites fires. That's fun. Healing burst. Self-teleporting healing unit that instantly heals all friendly crew in, in the room. Can target your own ship. I would hope so. Otherwise, what, what do I want to use it for? W weird to have an, a healing gun on your ship, though. Hull missile. High hull damage plus a decent breach chance. Required power 2. 17 second shots. 2 damage with 5 shield piercing. That sounds pretty powerful. I don't think I can use it right now unless I wanted to replace the Artemis. Which it would be, would be a higher cost than the Artemis is, too. Let's see. Oh, damage two, shield piercing five. So it's the same exact properties there, but it has a higher, uh, higher breach chance. Breach chance low. High hole damage uh, plus a decent breach chance. But it says breach chance is low. That seems to self-contradict what they were saying. Huh. Pull weapons deal double damage if they hit a room that does not have a system or subsystem. Sure. But yeah, it doesn't seem... Is the is the Artemis just the exact same weapon or something? Weird. I'll probably just go ahead and buy some more jumps. Before we get in trouble here. There we go. Just a basic resupply. Now let's get the hell out of, out of the enemy system before we get in trouble. We're gonna go ahead and enter the next station now, or the next system. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. But we're in danger. There's another Mantis vs. NG situation. I'm happy to stick with peaceful systems for now. You have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times to these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Are they re reintroducing the same people to me again? Let's see. This one will connect to a lot of systems to help us tell what they, to help tell us what they all are. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort. It is clearly broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Um, let's take a look. The offer is, whoa, five jumps for five scrap, yes. That is basically the best rate we've seen. All right, to space. Let's continue scouting to see what's around here. Hi. Soon after arriving in the system, you are hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other Nothing personal, but you have some information we need. Alright, they have double shields. They're hostile. I should probably be worried. Uh, power to weapons. Let's see. I should probably target their shield situ situation with my Artemis. Otherwise, we're going to be in some trouble. But what if I take out Burst Laser and add Ion? Have the heavy ion target their weapon systems to nullify what they can handle. While I target, while I shoot at their shields. Come get us! What you waiting for? Right, weapon charging. The waiting part of the game. <laughs> there goes my shields, but they're back up. 
My missiles are doing a great job at missing at the moment. We weaken their shields. There we go. Now they'll be vulnerable, while we are not. So we can take out their weapons and shields, hopefully. If we can stop missing. Which, you know, kind of up in the air. Oh, their shields are restored. We did not take proper advantage. We're running out of missiles, so I'm going to go ahead and avoid that. Let's have the laser add in. Let's have both target the, specifically the, uh, the shields. Do what we can to stop what they have. This might be a long fight. Both ships are staying pretty healthy. A lot of missing on both sides. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, and we have a breach. These are all bad things. Let's have the NG work on that station. And have another crew member... Let's see. Oh, our, yeah, our entire weapons are down. Let's let's deal with the uh, damage systems with our drone. Oh, even our NG is getting damaged by trying to repair that sh that station, though. I thought they'd be help. They'd be safer than that. All right, NG, go off to the uh, the med bay. We, our weapons are completely down, which is bad. Okay, this is getting really bad really fast. I'm going to try to leave. Bye! Damn, bro. You're immediately contacted by a settlement. Hello, travelers. Your system seems to be outfitted for combat. Uh, care to take up a bit of a mercenary work? Listen to their offer. A small dock is under assault from the rebels, although the dock is technically illegal within their laws. It's very important for our trade. We pay you in fuel and scrap if you promise to save them. So we can take resources to help a dock that's being attacked? Let's give that a shot. They transmit the space dock's coordinates. Added a quest marker to your map. It's the first time we've encountered anything called a quest, really. The number of parts of the ship that are attacked right- are, Oh, wow. Right at the end there, they actually took out my drone department. That's bad. We kind of need that. And there's a breach in here, so I'm dying just trying to repair it. Not a good mix. And yeah, we took some bad hits. It's a dangerous opponent. Our attempts at fixing this place are just slowly killing everyone involved. There we go. It's all repaired now? Cool. Let's have him get healed up. You revisit the front. A lot of people took some bad hits there. They're healing now, at least. Alright, Mad Cat's in one piece. And back to your stations. Alright, that was... dangerous. Uh, oxygen's re is reapproaching 100%. We took damage, though. Oh. Oh, that's where we left the enemy behind. The quest is up here, actually. Okay. Do I have to make it back to this location before the rebels arrive? Because that might be tough. But let's stay the hell away from the hostile enemy. Might have to buy new jumps again soon. A cluster of NG satellites in orbit of a nearby planet are the only clue the mechanical species was ever here. You have other places to be. So what's left of this station? Once you arrive at the beacon, you detect a rebel scout assaulting a compound on a nearby desolate moon. Attack! They seem nice. Alright, what's left of our ship at this point? Damn. Um, obviously it's power-up weapons. What setup do I want to do here? We're down to two missiles, which is not great. I think I might ignore missiles for now and go for my heavy ion and burst lasers. See if we can beat our way into their shields. They do have two drones. What type are those? Can I tell? Defense drone shoots down missiles and asteroids. Can be shut down by damaging the, the drone system. So they're going to, uh... Oh, shoots down any projectiles. Does that also work on against ion? 
Anyway, that, that one specifically targets missiles, so it probably would have been inadvisable to use them anyway. Nope. Oh. Missile immediately. That's not good. Let's let her repair drone help out there. Oh man. They are equipped, they're heavily equipped with missiles. That's a problem for us. They're heavily, they're heavily equipped in general. At least we have a repair drone to help. How's how, uh, the party's generally healthy right now. Uh-oh. Keep going, guys. Our drone's gonna be very busy in this run, if I even can get through this. I? I don't think I can do this, actually. I think we're screwed. I might, I might want to just jump when I get the chance. Yeah, they've mostly killed my ship, and they are completely unharmed. And they are heavily equipped with drones. I'm going to leave now. Uh, just, that, that one's in distress. Let's go here. I'm gonna avoid the system that's in distress because, at least for now, because we need to heal the, the ship if we can. A small NG research vessel is trying to fend off a Mantis ship. You move into a gauge, but after a quick scan of your ship, the Mantis ship retreats. That's kind of funny for them to say because, honestly, our ship's pretty messed up right now. Uh, they would have been better off just attacking us. Uh, the NG offer you a drone schematic as thanks for your timely arrival. And 30 parts, apparently. That'll come in handy. I might want to upgrade my... My weapons more. It cost 50. I think I need it at this point. I feel like we're, we might be underpowered unless I just need unless unless I'm gonna go after just more shields. We need two upgrades to get a third shield barrier, though. Gonna try to go a little further into weapons. I think we kind of need it right now because we're getting our asses handed to us, basically. All right, so at the moment, basically everyone needs a heal. Let's go ahead and send everyone to med. All right, those ones are set up. Now you guys. The one, the crew members of my, all the members of my crew just dying on the next jump. This is the best we're gonna get for now. The store is useless to me right now, and our exit's all the way over there, so we should probably make our way to the Distress Beacon. It's actually one of our only options, unless I want to get closer to where we came from. Alright, how bad are you going to kill me here? You follow the Distress Beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. They offer help. Our shields are down it, and we won't last long. Let's see. We could try to repair them with a the drone. Ow. Ow. Your drone succeeds in keeping uh, their ship from breaking apart while they fix it. However, you take some damage while attempting to leave the asteroid field. They offer you some military supplies as thanks for saving them. So a whole bunch of parts and uh, one drone part and a fire beam is interesting, but damn if we didn't take some damage there. Oh crap, we're on fire. Just to add to the pile, huh? Oh, cool, and our drone chamber is broken, apparently. Our door- wait. How is our door system broken, but- But apparently the, uh... Our, our door system's broken somehow, but apparently we're also totally able to go through all of our doors. I guess that just means that I can't control it? This guy's about to die, so let's get him out of here. Careful. Let the drone take care of it, it's okay. We got this. Those guys have repaired at this point, so we'll send them back to their usual chamber. Alright, we are very critical right now. Not a good spot to be in. But I could probably afford... nope. Cannot afford the next point of weapons. I was hoping to get up to six so we can fire all three lasers at once and just... really take it to them, but we're gonna have to... we're gonna need 13 more first. Could go into more power bars. Might become necessary. For now, we just have to move on. Alright. The drone's repairing. I'm gonna let that finish. Oh yeah, there's, a, there's entire bars that are disabled right now. That's what I get for helping people. Damn. 
So, lesson learned, just because just because you have a special option for the type of units you have, does not mean that it's going to go perfectly. <laughs> Even though you have drones or NG or whatever, you can still take negative effects along the way. There we go, just want to enable my weapons. Should be good to go now? Yeah. Let's jump. We can visit a store. I'm a little worried about them catching up with us, but at the same time, I think we need... Yeah, we're gonna need more jumps. I don't want to jump ahead too bad. Because we're gonna strand ourselves. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG Hive at this beacon are selling equipment for just that. Definitely need some of those. If I fixed all, that would require a lot of our power, actually. But I can, I can at least help a bit. Because buying the buy, repairing the whole thing is just gonna bankrupt us. We could use, we could use a few missiles. Uh, we have a decent number of jumps. Let's go further into fixing because there's not much of ship our ship left, and that's bad. We kind of unfortunately have to head back. We might be kind of get close on trying to leave the system before the enemies show up. Ooh, yes we will. Crap. We have to go this, and then this, and then this. So we're probably going to be entering rebel systems in order to get back. The distress signal originates from a small NG ship under attack by a rebel fighter, but when the Rebel Sea Federation markings, they turn to attack. Welp. They seem nice. Uh, we have a few options to attack with. Alright. Let's blow them away. Top priority for me is just absolutely obliterating their shields. They don't have a teleporter. They don't have a drone. Enemy combat drone repeatedly attacks your ship can be shut down by damaging the enemy ship's drone system. Let's yeah, let's send the the set the secondary laser after that part of their ship. Hey man, cut it out. Now you're just being rude. That is an aggressive freaking drone. Man. Let's send the Artemis after that. Their drones are a problem. There we go. Aha! There goes those, there goes that nasty drone that was being such a problem. Let's see. Potato took a bad hit, so let's just send him to med while the NG repairs. Hey, cut it out. Now y'all's just being rude. All right. Let's make this. We've taken down their drone part. Now let's go after their shields. And try to finish them off before they can uh, finish their drone again. They're fixing it. Crap. Their hole's down, though. My hole's pretty down, though. Crap. Uh, <laughs> that was close. 26 parts. The NG vessel turns out to be a uh, very poorly equipped. Barely a runabout, really. They're trying to outrun the rebels, and they need all the help they can get. Jeez. I can't help them. The NG can't feel fear, so they bear you they bear you no ill will when you explain that you're unwilling to help. They set off on their journey and do, and you do the same. So they're totally unemotional about the fact that I'm leaving them to die, basically. We are very critical. Our current survival actually did come down to how many pieces of hull I chose to repair in that last part. Alright, this guy's gonna fix our sensors. Looks like everyone is healthy otherwise. Let's go ahead and put people back in their normal spots. And soon we'll be able to see the inside of our ship again. Alright, we're totally good, except for the part where we're dying. No big deal. Well, shit. Well, now we're really screwed. I'm entering a, a system that the Rebels are about to be in. Hi. This is probably the end of me. The Rebel fleet has found you, and a nearby scout turns to engage. The cruisers in the distance are firing at you. I'm totally screwed. Basically. Um... Yep, I don't see how this ends well. I'm going to say... Let's have everything attack their weapons system specifically. Ooh, a hole laser could be handy. I'm gonna disable... Yeah, disable burst, enable hole. If we can create a hole breach in their lasers, in their weapon system, it might be hard for them to repair. And if we can disable their weapons long enough, we can just run. I'm not really trying to win the fight, I'm just trying to stall them. 
I don't think it's gonna work though. I think we're in trouble here. Um, right now we don't need system repairs. Let's try to pump that more into shields to get our next our next barrier up. It's the best I can hope for. We're being shot at by nearby ships according to the description, which I think really puts us in danger here. So I'm focusing on having two shields and doing what I can to disable their weapons. We're down to two she we're down to two hull already. We're really <laughs> chances are so slim here. We are not gonna make it. Nope, there it goes. Alright. Game over. <laughs> One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Score, 1130. Alright guys, so this has been our first run of FTL. And even on easy, it still can be very difficult until you have a lot of experience with it. Uh, this has been our, this is our new Patreon sponsored thing for uh, all of April. So this series is going to be ongoing throughout April. Um, I haven't yet fully decided whether I'm going to do one episode per run or if I'm going to do one run per episode. I mean, uh, if I'm going to do uh, like 30-ish minute episodes where I cut up a run. I'm kind of leaning towards one episode runs, but uh, um, if I go with that, just be pre-warned that there may be multiple days between episodes, because obviously, if it takes me to, if an episode takes two hours to do, I can't do that every single day. Either way, guys, thanks for watching, like always. And if you want to be a part of the decision for what game gets chosen in May and any future months, be sure to check out Patreon.com/SebastianSB. It's the link that I, I keep that link in every the, the uh, description of every single video on this channel, and uh, you could be a part of what of why we chose FTL this month and affect what happens next time. Uh, I don't know if I'll get better. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> see you guys next time.